Wednesday will mark our 16th annual Alex Scott a Stand for Hope Telethon, raising money against in the fight against childhood cancer. The foundation is all about hope, offering hope to families through research into new treatments and cures, hope in the form of a helping hand during the toughest times, and for one young man, hope that he can be like Alex. Our Siafa Lewis has more. Mainly because of my teacher. Um, oh wait, cut that out. I don't know if my teacher is going to watch this. Meet 14-year-old Yash Krishnan. He's whip smart, funny, inquisitive, caring, and as you just saw, like most teens, he's keenly aware of what he probably shouldn't say in certain circles. But the reason we're introducing you to Yash is because he's as special and as selfless as they come due to some unforeseen circumstances. When he was eight years old, he had major surgery where they took out his colon and they found out that it was like stage zero, that some of them were cancerous and so they took it all out. Um, and then when they did genetic testing again, they said something didn't add up. You know, we did all these tests, but something doesn't add up. That major surgery at age eight came four years after his parents first took him to a doctor after noticing some blood in his stools. It began a litany of scans and scopes, seeing different doctors at different facilities, discovering precancerous polyps, and all culminating in that surgery and the subsequent genetic testing, which revealed that Yash has a rare condition known as CMMRD, Constitutional Mismatch Repair Deficiency. It means Means that he is at an alarmingly high risk of developing cancer, and he's the only known child on the planet currently with this condition. So we, we learned, and, and it's been a journey since then. His sister at that time was two and a half, and she was also tested, and she also came back positive with the same condition with both genes. And so at two and a half, when they did her first scope, they actually took out three precancerous polyps from her colon as well. Sadly and tragically, at just four years old, Ira Krishnan, who also had CMMRD in addition to three other rare diseases, died. Picking up the pieces from that heartbreak, Parvathi and her husband Ayer forged forward, and in his own way, so did Yash. Once I actually had my procedure, I realized I didn't need to ask anymore how long it was going to take because I realized that this was, even when I recovered, this was not going to go away. Like, there were always going to be long lasting effects. So I just decided from then on that I would, from the rest of my life, to try to raise as much money for other people and for other cancers so that once I go, even if CMMRD cannot be cured, maybe some other forms of cancer can. Yash's work to raise awareness and funds in his native North Carolina, but the family was especially happy to work with Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation for Childhood Cancer, with Alex serving as a source of inspiration for Yash. Definitely. I've never met her, but, you know, reading her story and it also really got to me a lot. We've just been ambassadors for the Alex's Lemonade Stand because we truly feel like they are thinking holistically. They're not only thinking of one cancer or one diagnosis. They are working hard to support all pediatric cancers and families. And, and so that was one of the reasons we started um, working with them and partnering with them. Yasha's absolute favorite subject in school is math, and he wants to be a surgeon when he grows up. He believes they help the most people, and that's what he wants to do. Wise and kind, Yash is also self-deprecating. We try to compliment him about his wisdom, but he wasn't having it. I don't know about that one. And that was our Siafa Lewis reporting, and such a, an amazing young man there. And you can help kids like Yash. Our 16th annual Alex Scott, a Stand for Hope telethon, is Wednesday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m.